hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and if you're new and you haven't subscribed please subscribe i hope you enjoy this content so i've been getting questions about how to stay confident even after a failed marriage i'll also say a failed relationship okay because I'm not only speaking to people who are married i'm also going to be speaking to people whose relationships are over and they feel <sighs> okay so the first point is identify negative self-talk and this is especially if you have been cheated on you've been cheated on you end up having a tendency to like compare yourself to the next person he cheated on with and you realize that even your qualities are different you understand like maybe she has a big ass we show up like me you understand <laughs> so you're gonna now start comparing yourself to this person and start talking down on yourself or maybe he chose um her over me because I mean, uh, my figure what no don't do it don't do it um everybody is special in their own way you are beautiful in your own way and you deserve to be loved as ishwapa as you are okay <laughs> okay so point number two is always 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 practice self-compassion the same way you would talk to your friend who has been disappointed in a relationship or who has been disappointed by her husband talk to yourself that exact same way we have this thing of like being so compassionate towards other people and we cannot bring the compassion to ourselves so this is where now you need to look yourself in the mirror and say listen it's okay he didn't deserve you like go on and on and on you know be as wild as you want to be okay but have compassion for yourself point number three is focus on your strengths instead of putting yourself down focus on your strengths what are some of the things that make you feel like you are an attractive person what are some of the things that make you feel like you are a worthy person you know work on your positive aspects enhance them more if you can and i mean remind yourself another thing is sometimes you forget you know there's even things that you don't even have to enhance like that they they exist you're a hard worker you just need to look yourself in the mirror and say you know what his loss i'm a hard worker i'm beautiful i got brains i this i that you know your strengths look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself okay listen it wasn't worth it because who am i <laughs> and then point number four distract yourself by setting small achievable goals you know in terms of moving away from him ne? for example you could Put yourself on a no contact rule. Like tell yourself, oh, you know what? This week, I'm not going to call this man. And if you can do it for a week, I mean, you can do it for two weeks. You can do it forever. You understand? Set small achievable goals and within them, keep yourself busy so that you don't find yourself thinking about him. Because sometimes another thing is you're just not busy. That's all. The reason why you're missing him is because you have like too much time on your hands. And then number six, develop a growth mindset. Don't take the situation of a failing relationship or a failing marriage as a downfall. No, find out perhaps you needed to change so many things about your life, the direction of your life. Now look at it from the positive side. That is how you develop a growth mindset. You let go of feeling pity for yourself and say, okay, perhaps this wasn't meant to be, okay? So now, how do I detour from this route that I had taken? And this detour, it has to be nice, you understand? Make it nice. Work on something that's making you feel fulfilled, that's making you feel, feel good, you know? Point number five, embrace your imperfections. I know in point number one where I said stop negative self-talk, I made an example about say you have no S, you understand? So embrace it. 
now this is where you embrace that negative aspect of yourself Hore. okay i realize that unlike other people i have this body shape unlike other people i have one two three four unlike other you understand like what's considered normal you understand so in your imperfections now you start dressing for your body if it's the body that you feel um it's a bit imperfect you know you don't follow trends you understand you wear what looks good on you so that is how you embrace your imperfections or sometimes you stand in front of the mirror if it's your body look at it get used to it get to love it learn it you understand and really really thank it for the things it can do for you you're able to walk i was even telling someone that this very body that today you don't like is a body that carried a whole human being how can you not embrace a body that has done so much for you come on guys you know what whether it has stretch marks now whether it has you know what do they call it impigmentation in if there's impigmentation now it's because something has happened to that body that caused those stretch marks and those uh, dark marks you understand so why not embrace it are you not grateful that it has carried your child for nine months you see exactly number seven work towards creating a positive environment be it to your friends make sure you're around supportive friends because even friends can switch up on you make sure it's supportive family even family can switch up on you simply because you know how some people even church like you know how some people can be because there's this connotation that uh, divorce is sinful and you're in church and suddenly they feel like you no longer deserve to come to church change that church if it's family some families believe that um, divorce is bad it makes their name look bad stop hanging around them some friends it used to be like friends who were you guys were family friends if family friends or couples what what and anytime you hang around with them it's so triggering keep a distance <laughs> keep a distance try as much as possible to create a healthy environment for yourself even social media is an environment create an environment and follow people okay choose who you follow and choose wisely who you follow some people are always talking negative things about relationships i mean you don't want to be that bitter person because your relationship has failed or because you've been through a divorce and now suddenly nobody can get married no don't be that person still see the positive in other people's marriages because there are so many beautiful marriages anyway okay number eight prioritize your self-care and self-love okay because the more you take care of yourself the more you love yourself the more you look lovable you know the more you realize how you're lovable you know everything that you love you take care of so prioritize taking care of yourself if it's your nails you need to do your nails scrub your feet that's love that you used to give out take it back in the things you used to do for him do for yourself i even say from the smallest thing is like serving yourself on a tray because i mean i guess that's how we are trained okay? when you serve your boyfriend or your husband serve him on a tray serve yourself on a tray bring back that love to yourself because what you are also worthy of it you understand appreciate yourself even more if you used to like do their hair or whatever do those things to yourself number nine learn from your mistakes because i also understand that in a relationship uh, there's things that you have also contributed to the failing of the relationship there's things that you're not proud of there's things that you feel like you could have done that you didn't do learn from those mistakes and carry those lessons with you for yourself and for your next partner so that you become a better person instead of a bitter person do not beat yourself about the mistakes you made because otherwise you're not going to heal from that relationship you're not going to heal from that divorce yes you did him wrong yes you did him dirty when you did one two three four five but what now 
let it go learn from them don't do it again in the future and then number 10 make it a point to celebrate progress make it a point to celebrate small achievements it feels good it actually feels good knowing that okay i went no contact for this week celebrate it knowing that i did not allow him to speak to me how he usually speaks to me celebrate it it's an achievement and it, it's going to make you feel more confident going forward okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to comment please don't forget to share and most importantly please do not forget to subscribe until i see you in the next video bye <laughs>